Hello students. Now we are going to prove an important theorem related to a cycles. That is, product of disjoint cycles is commutative. Disjoint cycles means cycles having no symbol in common. Commutative means if you take a product, consider the two disjoint cycles sigma and tau. If you take a product sigma tau and tau sigma, both will give you the same result. So, product of disjoint cycles is commuted to. Product of cycle is not commuted to, but product of disjoint cycles is commuted to. For that, product of disjoint cycles, so we have to take sigma is equal to a1, a2, a r and tau equal to b1, b2, bs. This is cycles. These are the cycles. Are any two cycles in Sn? These are Sn. These are in Sn with no symbol in common. That is, no symbol is in common means a1, a2, a r cannot be any one of b's and b's cannot be any one of a's. That is, a1, a2, a r intersection b1, b2, bs is equal to no symbol is in common. Now we have to uh, take these two permutations sigma and tau as a permutation on the set S. We have defined the set S here. A1, A2 and so on AR, B1, B2 and so on BS, C1, C2 and so on CT. Where these two are permutations on SN. So this R plus S plus T is equal to n and c1, c2, ct are left fixed by both sigma and tau. Left fixed means what? Their images are itself only. Now we have to prove that this sigma tau is equal to tau sigma. Okay? We have to prove that. We have to prove that. Tau sigma is equal to sigma tau. Let x belongs to let x be belongs to yes be any element be any number x belongs to yes be any number. Then if if x is equal to all these are disjoint sets c1 c2 ct and all C's are disjoint with B's, B's are disjoint with A's. Okay? So, if X is equal to any one of A, if X is equal to A for some I, for some I such that 1 is less than I is less than or equal to I. Then we have to show that Then we have to show that this sigma of sigma two of a i is equal to what is sigma two of a i then sigma two of a i is equal to sigma of c here this two is not in sorry this a i is not in the set of bi so this a must be left fixed by this tau so this is equal to sigma of ai sigma of ai is what this sigma of ai is ai plus 1 sigma of ai is ai plus 1 similarly tau sigma of ai is equal to tau of Tau of sigma of ai. Tau of sigma of ai. No, no. Okay. This is equal to what is sigma of ai? Sigma of ai is ai plus 1. And what is tau of ai plus 1? These ais are not in the set bis. So this is left fixed by tau. So this is equal to just ai plus 1. So this implies that from 1 and 2, what you have? In this case, in this case, Sigma 2 is equal to therefore 
in this case sigma 2 is equal to tau sigma okay then on a similar argument we can prove that if on a similar argument we can prove that if this x belongs to s no dot if x belongs to s if x is equal to b i b j take x is equal to b j for some j x equal to b j for some j some j 1 is less than j is less than or equal to t then what happens then sigma of tau of bj sigma tau of bj is equal to sigma of tau of bj is equal to sigma what is tau of bj tau of bj is bj plus 1 so sigma of bj plus 1 see here sigma is not consist of these elements bi so sigma of bj plus 1 is what this is just a bj plus 1 this is just a bj plus 1 Similarly, you can calculate tau sigma of B J is equal to tau of sigma of B J. What is tau? What is sigma of B J? Sigma of B J just a B J. So this is equal to again a B J plus one. So from one and two, from this and this, you can see that. From this and this, or you may take from one and two. What you can see, sigma two b j equal to two sigma b j. So in this case also, so sigma two is equal to two sigma. In this case also, in this case means what? X is equal to. In this case also, x equal to b j. What happens if x is equal to? See here, this x belongs to yes here. So S yes is this set now. A one, A two, A R, B one, B two, B S, and C one, C two, C T. So if X is of the form this, X is of the form this, and X is of the form this. So the last case, what is that last case? Last case is if X is any one of C's. If X equal to C K for some K, for some K, one is less than. K is less than or equal to. This is T. Here we have to tell that yes, he is here. Not T is here. Yep, yes is here. Okay. So if X equal to C K, then what happens? If X equal to C K, then Sigma two of C K is equal to sigma of two of C K. This is equal to sigma of what is two of C K? Two of C K is C K because these C's are left be fixed by both sigma and two. So this is sigma of C K is again a C K. Similarly, two sigma of C K. Two sigma of C K is equal to sigma two of sigma of C K, and this is equal to two of sigma of C K C K again, and this is equal to C K again. In this case also, in this case also, we have what we have sigma two C K C K two sigma C K C K two sigma is equal to sigma two. Thus, in any case, we have we have. Two sigma is equal to sigma two. From so what you can say that thus the disjoint cycles. If a cycle having no symbol in common, thus disjoint cycles, disjoint cycles, commute. Disjoint cycles commute. Thank you, students.